Oh my goodness, so oh, now we got another attack. And they seem to be coming from over here. They're coming from two locations. Three locations, what the hell? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You use your thingy. Stop breaking my houses. Stop it. Stop going after the tavern. If I lose that, I lose the game. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Veilguard. A game in which you have to build a colony and defend it from invading monsters. So, in our first episode, we kind of got started learning the basics, dealing with some demons and skeletons and whatnot. Now we're gonna dive in even deeper, hopefully unlock some new stuff and some new heroes! And also, last episode, we decided to go from Clearwater to save Wakefield. What I didn't realize, though, is that the places we didn't decide to save get destroyed, so rip those two places. My bad. <laughs> so now we get to choose between Northberry and Crossroad. So with this one, we get a new unit called an Axeman, some gold, and a ranger hero. And in Northberry, we get Bowman, some iron, and a ranger. So both have the same hero. So I guess it comes down to unlocking Axeman, or unlocking Bowman. And we already have an axe class from last time, so let's try this out. And remember guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So we got ourselves a new hero, neat. So we have three uh, of these like archer hero guys, and he has an immediate level up. We'll give him some uh, damage. And then some more damage. And let's look at our town here. The enemies are coming from over this way. Sign work farming. We have eight people. Let's send three onto that farm. Let's build a well and an extra house. Because a lot of this game, like, it's turn-based, so that should get us a lot more villagers. And if you guys missed the first episode, quick recap here, but pretty much it's turn-based trying to grow your economy. And then you have, like, battle phases where it's, like, a real-time strategy game. So it kind of switches between both, and it's really cool. Really unique. Oh, yes, and we have the new unit as well Bowman wait isn't that a default starting unit what wow that's such garbage alpha games please oh dude and now some wagon rolled into town asking for 28 iron and you'll make a wondrous item hmm YOLO Ooh, what's this what is this indeed? Energy ring, drawing power from the sun. During the day, this ring multiplies a hero's energy, allowing them to use their abilities more often? That sounds good. Let's give that to this guy. So it buffed it from one to three. Oh my, that is actually really good. Super, super worth. And these heroes we bring from mission to mission, so that is gonna be handy AF. Oh snap, this is a little early, we got a bandit attack here. So go, go, go people, go, go, go! Use your abilities, burn them, burn them all! Move forward! And use all your abilities! Okay, wow. These guys absolutely demolished them, that was very sad. But we got an extra 40 wood out of the deal, so I'll take it. Easy night, easy life. Oh, and I just noticed there's a graveyard here. So, I have no idea what that does. Apparently, I have to send extra workers there to, like, rebuild it, and it only will take two days? I don't know what that means. I'm sure we'll find out soon. And with a graveyard prepared in Grave's Dog, you hold a funeral for those who fell in recent attacks. The dead are buried respectfully, and the families thank you and pay for the service. So this gets me 18 gold pieces. That's like free money then. That's that's dark. I made a graveyard to get free money like that? Well, I, I need it. So, like, cool? I guess? Oh, and I see. Like, when I uh, apply workers to that, that's what it's counting towards. So every two days, if I have two workers on there, I can get that small amount of gold. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. 
However, there's a lot more I need to do. I don't really need gold too badly right now. I just need to keep getting a lot more people. But first, we got a little army of Ooh. people to deal with here. Looks like some skeletons. Yep. Spearmen, go in. You got this. Seems like a very small army. Oh, that's a that's not a small army. That's, that's not a small army. That's a big army. That's a big army. Get them. Get them, boys. Did I lose my soldiers here? No. Nope. There's another big boy. Get him. Oh, the fire arrows are so good. These guys, though, move back, move back. You're gonna die. I can't have you die. And we got 34 gold. We're getting so much gold this this time. That's good. Oh, that was a little spooky. That's why we have extra armor, though. There we go. All protected. You know, since we're getting so much gold, I think I should go for like a berserker strategy. We unlocked these last time and they're very strong. So maybe I'll just try and get like a bunch of those. After I get my economy kind of rolling a bit better though. Oh my goodness though, now we got another attack. They seem to be coming from over here. Coming from two locations, three locations, what the hell? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You use your thingy. Stop breaking my houses. Stop it. Fire ability. Okay, we just need to fall back here. We just need to fall back. Upgrade damage. Stop going after the tavern. If I lose that, I lose the game. Uh oh. There's so many fog places. They're coming from all over the place. Army, what am I doing? I have an entire army to use. Go, 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 go. They're destroying the walls too. Just get in there, boys. Get in there. There we go. And we got some more uh, gold. But holy, gets a little stressful when it's like that. Anyway though, we have so much extra gold. What do we spend it on, guys? Probably some more axes because I'd like to get um, uh, berserkers. So how much would five cost? Oh my God. It's a lot of dollary dues, my dude. But what else would we use gold for, right? I think that's worth it. Oh wait, we need the gold for actually hiring the berserkers. I'd have all these ass axes and nothing to do with them. Okay, well then let's just sell that. I'll hire the extra berserkers oh. now. Now assign people to the mines so we can get more axes for more berserkers and everything else can start going crazy. Ooh, or I could actually make like defenses. Why haven't I been doing that? I don't know. Okay, so spent a bit of time buffing the defenses significantly here. So we got quite a bit going on. Let's buff this guy extra damage. Damage is fun. Let's get that up as well. Move this over here. It seems some of my spear guys are stuck in a wall. Great. Super ultra great. I can't believe that's a thing. Other than that, we're okay. Let's move people back a bit. And yeah. We have such a giant army, like, almost nothing can stop us. All right, so last day here, and man, oh man, with the economy so bumping, I have the craziest army. We have like five guard towers, five spearmen, three berserkers, and three horse-mounted, like, hero archers. Like, unless this last wave here, is something like ungodly this is gonna be a massacre so i have the work already assigned let's see how this goes i'm excited look at all these walls too Woo. here we go the undead are here bring it bring it i am prepared and a half Whoa, 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 you don't go forward, you don't go forward. Oh, there's a general. Alright, levels up. I don't know if that matters, I think he just died. Rip, you come back here, you come back here. You move forward. You guys move forward as well. I am kind of lost at what's happening. The magic boss guy there though. Let's just have these guys all do that. Oh my god, run away. Get him. Get him! This guy's getting hurt. He needs to back up. Everyone needs to back up. I don't know why everyone's dying. There's vines everywhere. I think that's an evil magic. Okay, then. Oh, yo. But the spearmen are OP. They took out the boss guy. That's good. 
Now we just need to send one more archer over this way. Spearman, you did your job. Take these guys out. You got it. Boom, easy. 71 iron. And I think we lost like half our troops, but still really well done. You have successfully defended the village. Damn right. Damn right. Man, that was a good run. Anyway, though, I think that's going to be all. So if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you in the next video. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye-bye.